Hi everyone. Um, we are home and we're sitting in Ankeny at a park getting ready to go to Thanksgiving dinner um, with Adam's mom first and her family. She's with her siblings today. Um, and we wanted to say happy Thanksgiving. Then we're going to go to my dad and he's making dinner for us and we are so thankful for them. Um, one of the things that we wanted to kind of say to everybody, we wanted to tell a little bit of our story and what's been going on because we keep telling everybody we would do that. And then we haven't done that because we've been so busy. But one of the things that <laughs> he's trying to push the camera my way. <laughs> She's the one talking. <laughs> you can talk too. Um, one of the things that uh, uh, we wanted to say is uh, today, um, you know, is the first and many firsts happen um we don't realize them until you lose someone and um adam's having that first um this is the 10th um thanksgiving without my mom and this is the first thanksgiving without my father-in-law adam's dad um our son aj um kind of mentioned this the other day he was reading a book and it talked about um I can't remember if he was talking about when your parents stop reading to you or picking you up. We, we got into a long conversation about those things. And you don't remember when the last time they did that um, for you. But we got in a long conversation about that. But um, one of the things that we do start thinking about um, that is um, when they pass away. Um, and that's really hard. So what me and Adam were talking about on our trip um, is that um, make every time you see your loved ones uh, count. count and love them like it is the last time. We always, of course, you know. Assume we'll be, we'll be we'll, able to see them again. Yeah, we assume and um, not just assume, we, you know, are faithful that we will see them tomorrow, tonight, next year. Um, but we are not promised tomorrow, so let's love them today like we're not going to see them tomorrow and be thankful that we have them. And even with their silly stories or whatever, um, you know, that you may have heard a thousand times, listen for something that you haven't heard in that story before and think about it. Um, you know, we loved hearing dad's stories um, in the hospital this time because we heard things that we didn't hear before because we listened more. Um, yeah, my ears were a little more open, I guess. Yeah. And more like a satellite. It heard every, it would listen to every word Dad said, and it's like, wow, thanks. And I thank God for that because, I, like I said, to you know, everybody at his funeral and stuff, it's like, he can't, he opened up, and that was not my dad. A lot of you knew that probably, but it was well worth it because I learned a lot. And you opened up too. Yeah. And we got to tell them that we were going to start this journey, which was very important to us. Um, which um, I know a lot of people don't realize that this is something Adam and I have prayed on for a really long time. Ah, we're running out of time. Um, anyway, so. Uh, love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jimmy. Love you. Got to go eat now. Love you. Bye.